Hi folks, John Adamson, the Rehab and Documentation Guru, and today I'm going to talk about Medicare's decision to not allow evaluation on the same day as group therapy. So I'm not going to go into why Medicare has done this, because I, I really don't know. I can speculate, but speculation is not worthwhile. But let me tell you why it's probably not a good idea to have group on the same day as eval. And I think Medicare gives us a little bit of perspective on this. When they allow for comprehensive assessments to be completed within a certain window of time. So, for example, you know, we, we look at the MDS and the expectation on admit is you have five days to complete it for the initial MDS assessment. And the purpose of that is to get appropriate, thorough evaluation of the patient's needs team collaboration of what the patient's levels of functionality really are like. That way you can best care plan. And I think that same mindset needs to be applied for all therapy evaluations. I spend time on my eval day being pretty darn thorough. Even on days where I'm busy, I just work longer days. And I'm blessed that I work for a company that allows me to count my hours of work. But they've also seen the quality that I provide for them. So I spend a lot of time, but I can guarantee you that on day of eval, I am not getting everything evaluated that would help me determine the best safety and effectiveness for group participation. Because if we're dealing with fairly complex patients and we try to get a good sense on day of eval, it makes most sense to follow up on that same day with individualized treatment because we're still going to be analyzing and assessing what's going on with the patient. So evaluating them and then immediately popping them in a group, probably we have not completed a thorough evaluation on them. And probably we can cause a serious problem for the patient for inappropriately prescribed group. I think it's enough for day one eval to say, yeah, I think this patient would be good for group or not, but keep working with them on individualized treatment on that particular day, and you'll have a better sense of what would be most appropriate for group versus individual because you need to know how they're going to respond. So let's say you evaluate the patient. They're weak. They've got range of motion deficit. They've got flexibility deficit. They've got cardiopulmonary deficits. All of those things would fall under the individualized treatment of therapeutic exercise, 97110. If I immediately pop that patient in a group, how am I going to determine whether or not that group is really efficacious in determining or in addressing the patient's problems in those four areas? Would it not be better to evaluate them, find out they have underlying impairments in those particular four areas, individually treat them for those four areas on that day of eval or even the next day and determine what's working for them, what's not, how are they responding, and is it a good response, and then make the determination to put them into group. So it's not a good best clinical practice to immediately pop somebody in a group the same day you're evaluating. Not a good idea. And I think Medicare made a good call on this particular um, inappropriate billing option. And I say inappropriate from the standpoint of I don't think it's clinically sound, but also now we've got it as an NCCI edit. Anyway, John Adamson, the Rehab and Docu Documentation Guru. If you like, please subscribe. And also, if you have a different opinion, please state it. As always, you're welcome to comment if you have a suggestion for a future video. Take care and God bless.